It's not safe for them to stay here after everything that is happening. We want them to stay alive. A bittersweet farewell. Families leaving for an uncertain future. It's really scary even to sleep at night because uh, the bomb will might fall every minute. So it's really scary. We're making our way to the Russian border. No one's quite sure how safe this journey is, but people here are desperate to leave. They've been on a waiting list for days. The phone call came in the morning, giving these women less than four hours to pack up all their belongings and leave. We don't know what will happen there and for how long this situation will continue. We want to return home as quickly as possible. But they say they have no choice. They simply have to go. The airplanes and the bombings are the scariest because you don't know where they're going to fall and when. We can't always stay in a basement because of the small children. Victoria is traveling with her two daughters. And like all the women here, she's left behind her husband and family. My grandfather, grandmother and my father stayed behind. I told my father and grandmother that I want to come home to them. It's a three-hour drive to the Russian border, and the organizer has asked us not to interview him on camera because he says he's getting death threats for putting this trip together. Many feel torn about taking the decision to leave. Valera worries about the father he left behind. It's really hard to, because uh, I um, probably won't see him for a very long time. It, it can be months, it can be even years. Thousands of women and children have already made this journey, and thousands more on waiting lists trying to leave. We're crossing through the Ukrainian border and we're having to film this a little bit discreetly as there are border guards everywhere. The people on the bus are preparing their documents and Russia, their final destination, is just a few minutes away. I congratulate every passenger with crossing the border to Russia. <laughs> Tears of relief, but for many here, this is just the first difficult step towards an uncertain future. Paulus Leo RT on the Ukrainian-Russian border.